Some Twin Cities hospitals have declared a third surge in the fight against COVID-19. WCCO's Liz Collins shares the eye-opening numbers and hears from some nurses on the front lines as hospital beds again fill up fast. I was here on Tuesday and it's doubled since then. As an RN inside Regions ICU, Tiffany Wolfsberger had hoped by now COVID patient numbers would be on a permanent decline. But as of today, the hospital has declared a third surge. We, you've been seeing numbers going up as far as testing and all of that, but just in the last week, we really have seen it hit the hospital. One month ago, health partners had 27 people hospitalized with COVID-19. That's climbed to 100 and gone from five in the ICU to 16 in that same time period. All while the age of patients falls from an average of 65 in November to 55 in the month of April. Did you ever think you'd be here again? I was really hoping that. Um... You know, it's been very promising with the vaccines, and we appreciate all the people that are getting their vaccine. A few blocks away at St. Joseph's Hospital, Fairview Health has announced plans to end COVID care by the end of May, predicting vaccine progress will help turn things around by then. Still, Emily Allen has been startled by the recent spike and the kind of shape young patients are in. The last shift that I work, I had two patients in their 30s, both on ventilators, and it's really hard um, to not think that could be me. Allen believes many are taking fewer precautions, giving up on masks and traveling to crowded places after 13 long months. It's very, very hard to see people just completely not caring. Liz Collin, WCCO 4 News. Both ICU nurses told us while there is an uptick in patients, they are not requiring ICU care as long as as long rather or ventilator support as long as before and they believe that has something to do with the younger age. They also say that they've only seen one or two patients fully vaccinated who are infected with COVID, which they say shows the vaccines are working.